Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am going to be doing the 25 random bookish facts about me. No, I think it's just called the 25 bookish facts about me tag. I was tagged to do this by Anthony Andrews. I'm afraid I have no idea who the creator is. So, so sorry. I'll put it in the description if I remember to look it up. Or if somebody wants to let me know in the comments, I'll just pin the comment maybe when I get to it about a week after I post the video because I'm terrible with comments these days. But I have prepared. So... I guess it's less of a tag with questions and more of a tag where I share information. So I've prepared 25 bookish facts about myself. So without further ado, let's get going. All right. Fact number one. I've got seven published books of my own out. If you go to danecobain.com forward slash Amazon or danecobain.com forward slash Amazon USA or just search for it on your por portal of choice, there are books available. Fact number two, I've got about a dozen more projects that I've never published or to be more accurate I had like limited print runs and maybe five copies done of them back in the day just so I could have one myself but they've never been commercially released and uh, most of them I never plan to release. Fact number three, I own over 1,000 books and I keep everything that I read so it's about, about 1,100 on my red shelves and then about a further 200 on my TBR. Fact number four, I don't read ebooks, but I do read audiobooks, not a huge amount, but every now and then. I typically read physical books when I first read a book, and then I use an audiobook for the reread. Fact number five, a lot of my friends are also writers. Fact number six, I used to run both a writer's group and a spoken word night here in High Wycombe. I'm not currently putting any events on, but maybe I should. Fact number seven, I don't like romance in books, and I don't like romance books, but... I don't, I don't feel, I don't think it makes a book inherently bad. I just don't like it personally, you know. Fact number eight, my favourite book is Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. Although I kind of just say that because it's easy now to just continually say that. Fact number nine, I have a tattoo of a quote from Frank Herbert's Dune. It's here on my arm. I've actually had it for like a week at the time of filming. It says, fear is the mind killer. And the full quote from Dune is called the fear litany. And it goes, I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total oblivion. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me and wash through me. And when it has passed, I will turn the inner eye to follow its path. Where the fear is gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. So I memorise that and I use it for dealing with anxiety and stressful situations. Fact number 10. One of my books is in Latvia's National Library. And actually you can also send your book to them as well if you want to. I will link below to something about that. Fact number 11. I never used to like cookbooks but now that I'm vegan I use them quite a lot. And I'm going to basically consider them red once I've cooked all of the different uh, recipes in there that I was interested in. I then copy that over to my own master list of recipes and I'm even going to review them once I, once I get there. Fact number 12, I'm in the dedications of a few books, including one that I'll be reading soon, which is Osric Fingerbone and the Spring of Jacks by Michael Israel Jarvis. Fact number 13, I once read the Oxford English Dictionary from cover to cover. This was actually for a writing project, one of these archived ones called the Lexicologist Handbook, where basically it's a dictionary of weird and obscure words. So I read the Oxford English Dictionary to get a list of words that I could use. Fact number 14, I once read for 24 hours straight to raise money for charity. I raised about £400 for Dyslexia Action. I did it from, I think, 11am on a Saturday till 11am on a Sunday. I was allowed five minute breaks on the hour every hour, just to nip to the toilet and get a drink and whatnot. And I think I read about six books. Fact number 15, Terry Pratchett is my most read author. Fact number 16, when I got my first job, one of my first clients was an author from my hometown. So she was actually a children's author, she's called Julia Suzuki and wrote a book called Yoshiko and the Gift of Charms. And uh, yeah, I moved away from Tamworth in the Midlands here in the UK to uh, High Wycombe in Buckinghamshire. Uh, and it's about 100 odd miles away or something. And then yeah, it turned out that this author who was a client of the company I joined was from Tamworth. Fact number 17, I was a shadow panel member of the Young Writers of the Year Award in 2017. So basically myself and four other bloggers, we all read each of the books on the shortlist, picked our overall winner and we saw whether it tied in with the winner of the award. Spoiler alert, it did not. Our overall winner was uh, Julian Pacheco, the lucky ones, and the actual winner by the judges was uh, Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney, which I thought was terrible. Fact number 19, I was also flown to Latvia earlier this year to learn more about Latvian literature. I actually documented it all on my blog and on my booktube channel and I will link to a playlist below. 
That was over dramatic. Fact number 20, I don't actively seek out diversity in my reading and the idea of it is kind of alien to me, but purely because I read so much anyway, I think. I kind of see if you read two or three books a month, you'd want to make one of those by an LGBTQ author or something. But for me, it really, I don't seek it out. It just kind of comes naturally. And actually, I think a lot of people who do try to read diversely actually don't read very diversely. So, you know, I mean, to, to me, diversity means including everyone rather than just being like, oh, we're going to read all of this LGBTQ plus uh, young adult fantasy. So yeah, this is a hot topic for me and... Uh, I don't know. I feel like it'll get me some dislikes if I rant about it too much. I'm all for diversity in reading. I just don't specifically read books because they're diverse. I read them because they sound good. If they're diverse, so much the better. Okay, anyway, fact number 21. My mum likes to read crime novels, like modern crime novels, and my dad likes to read science fiction fantasy. Fact number 22, I was named after a combination of Dane of the Iron Hills from The Hobbit, who was actually played by Billy Connolly in the movies, and uh, Dane from The Thorn Birds by Colleen McCulloch, which I still haven't read. It's on my TBR. I should get to it soon. Fact number 23, I have a series of different rules that I obsessively follow to make my reading work, including uh, I pick up a new book every day and just read it for five minutes. If it's crap, I DNF it straight away. I'm brutal. I have a system in which I go from an author that's new to me to like an author that isn't and then back again, etc, etc. Fact number 24, despite having like my Penguin Mini box set, my uh, Penguin Mini Moderns box set, my, you know, I don't know, various box sets anyway, I don't actually care about owning the same copies of books and it doesn't bother me if I have different formats. My only stipulation is that it has to be a physical book that I can hold in my hands. I don't care if it's different sizes, you know, paperback versus hardback, different covers, it doesn't matter to me. And fact number 25 is a pretty obvious one, especially if you've been watching me for a while, but books and writing are my life. Alright, so that is 25 bookish facts. Find some people to tag. Okay, and as always, I'm going on to the recent comments on my videos, and I'm going to tag Totally Pretentious, Jason's Weird Reads, nice channel name update by the way, Time for Books, The Bibliotherapist, Cats and Camera, Big Hard Books and Classics, Mindy's Book Journey, and uh, Mark Nash as well. So there we have it. That was the 25 random facts about me tag. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you were surprised by any of these, I guess. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.